What is up everyone, Skate211 here, and we're doing some more tournament play, most likely today. Um, I wanted to focus on this loadout that I have, Panther with the Missile Rack 8. Uh, this is a solid option and one that I regularly used when I first got Panther in my Missile Racks. Um, I've switched it out and I put this on someone else who has like 16 energy, usually on uh, Guardian and Panther because I have Zeus I've been using that with some of my other loadouts but uh, this is a solid option for a lot of uses for a lot of reasons um, you know it's it's a very flexible loadout but it is especially helpful uh, especially after you upgrade a little bit my uh, missile racks are upgraded a bit not much somewhere in the middle <coughs> excuse me and in doing so it gives them a better damage radius and it can become very effective uh, when there's congested areas. So that's kind of what you want to look for spots where there's close quarters that you can Spray down a lot of damage with this guy and you can get good effect out of it And I'll show you what I mean this the current map uh, in tournament, which is uh, I think it's called Acropolis Is nice for this especially when you first start right away you want to you know get go you got you go down a corridor and as the enemy is going down the corridor on the opposite side, you have this wide open area where you can just shoot a whole bunch of rockets in them. Usually gets you a kill as well as first blood. Sometimes gets you a multi-kill. It's just a great way to use this to show the idea of congestion um, that this does. I mean, it's really damaging, all that kind of stuff. I, I enjoy this loadout quite a bit, but uh, you know, it, it's, it, uh, I've, I've just switched it onto other mechs because other mechs benefit from it just like this guy does. Oh. And I hit mostly <laughs> mostly the posts, so that did not really give me a whole lot of benefit. Um, but let's try that again, see if we get a better shot here. Killed one guy, did a lot of damage to the other guy right behind him. Um, and I didn't even need my, my, uh, my shield set up to do that well which is kind of nice. It's nice when you can do that where you don't really have to rely on it. Um, that did some decent damage. Didn't take him out though. It, you know, it, it depends on if they're in good coverage or not, but uh, that is primarily what you want to do. You can also get some benefit out of this little corridor where there's not much movement that the enemy can do. Of course, you want to be aware of where they can get behind barriers, but you also have the option of shooting them down pretty well in that spot. You just want clear sight lines and an area where it's going to hit, you know, side walls and all that stuff to really clear out your opponents. So I'm going to drop this down here and then come into play. Should be able to take that guy out. Killing spree. That guy didn't come down close enough, but if he did, he would have felt the pain. Now we can hopefully get him on this guy. Oh, almost took him out. Get a little bit more health. So this guy I might be able to take out with just one of these. Nope, not quite. But that's all right. Smackdown. Still got him. I also like to hide down here when I can. Oh. Dominant got a sneak five, kill in there. Four, three, Lots of two, enemies are over in this one. spot. Yeah, and you can see how that's kind of a congested area. Just, you know, where there's a lot of walls and your missiles can hit, it's really nice. When it's wide open areas and you're far away, this weapon isn't really the best First for that. Blood. Look at double that one, we kill. got a double kill. And so that did really well for us there. You also, you know, can benefit a lot from slower targets. Like this juggernaut is a, is a solid one to hit Killing spree. from further away if you're able to land it because uh, they're slower or if you can catch someone off guard Ghost. like that. Um, it's also really good. I mean, if you're, if you're close up on your target, close quarters, you can do well. But if you're further away, you're going to want to do something else to really get the benefit um, to take that, take that guy out with these missiles. Gosh, I didn't realize that was one of their guys. I thought it was one of ours who was close by. Dominating. 
and that was hard to see because my I, I got a little bit of lag there but I started on the target was shooting him and then I started turning to the other target mid shoot or mid fire uh, which is something that if you know you're gonna kill your target with your missile racks and you're because you're still gonna be firing them um, try to turn if it means you can get another some more damage on someone else Unstoppable. Like that I, I had to follow him a little but really it's just you know maximizing the damage output that you're gonna do um, this ramp is just really nice I mean you have the barriers there but that ramp almost works as a back wall to make sure that they're gonna take some damage as you shoot uh, it and and even with Rampage. posts and other things there's just a lot of things in that spot Smackdown. that this can bounce off of so Five, when you have an four, area where all of that can three, bounce off of two, you just really want to use that benefit you have won the match. Yeah, I mean, solid loadout, especially like I said on this map. This is not something you want to use long range, even though there's no damage drop off. If your target has barriers behind them or on the side of them, you're gonna get some benefit of that explosion around them. So you wanna look for good opportunity of targets like that. Um, and yeah, if you if you know you're gonna kill somebody with one or two missiles and you have other targets you can turn to aim at, there's all different kinds of things you wanna do when you're when you're using this weapon, you know, to really benefit from all that stuff. But you know, that's generally how I use this weapon uh, with regard to uh, you know how how to really get some good usage out of those missile racks so yeah i hope that's helpful for some of you who regularly use missile racks or want some guidance on it um try to keep your enemies fairly close to you uh close to mid-range um barriers around them is good you don't want them in the front because then you're not really doing any damage but on the sides of them behind them it's just going to give you added splash damage if your missiles don't connect uh, and you know it'll hit other targets if they're grouped together so all that I hope is is helpful insight to how to use this pretty effectively if you guys have certain strategies you use with the missile racks please let me know certain things that you think would be cool to try I'm always open to different ideas but as always I will see you out there on the battlefield